Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in KVPY 2019 SX part 1 physics paper. The question is again fairly regular simple one. It's simply based on the you know force equals to ma type of equation. Uh, let's see what's happening over here. There's a particle whose mass is 2 by 3 kg is moving with an initial velocity of minus 15 meter per second at time minus 2 seconds. That means its velocity was given minus 15 at minus 2 seconds. Now a force which is given by this equation, this is a variable force which is acts as a function of time. Uh, the value of the force is k minus beta t square. The value of k is 8 newtons, value of beta is 2 newton per second square. So basically k and beta are some constants whose values have been given to us. The motion is in one dimension and we have to find the speed of the particle when the acceleration becomes zero again. Okay. So first let's see when is the particle have zero acceleration. So zero acceleration also implies zero force. So if you just make force as zero, so which will be uh, 8 minus 2t square 0. So this will give you t is equals to minus 2 seconds and 2 seconds. Now that is why they are saying when the speed becomes 0, sorry, acceleration becomes 0 again because at minus 2 seconds also the acceleration is 0. So this is the initial moment when t equals to minus 2 seconds uh, when the speed was minus 15. So this instance maybe acceleration must have been 0. And the next instance when the acceleration will become 0 is t equals to 2 seconds. So basically we have to find the speed at t equals to 2 seconds, right? Now <laughs> we can say that key, uh, you can write the impulse momentum equation or you can write the f equals to ma equation. Both are essentially same. So if you apply force equals to, sorry, impulse equals to uh, chain momentum. So impulse is nothing but f dt. Okay. So this will be is equals to chain momentum. Okay. So p final minus p initial. So basically we can say that force ka value is uh, 8 minus 2 t square okay, dt. Uh, this when integrated from minus 2 say 2 will be equals to final momentum which we can say m into v final minus v initial. v initial was minus 15. So if you put minus 15 here, so this will become plus 15. Agreed? So this is this equation we can solve. So isko solve kar le rahe. So 8 dt ka integration 8 t ho jayega. Okay, minus 2t square integration 2t cube by 3 ho jayega. Is me limits we are going to put minus 2 set 2. Mass is 2 by 3 over here will be equals to v final plus 15. Okay, so if you solve it, solve it. So yahan pe agar apan uh, 2 rakhenge to kya aega? 16 minus, let's put here, to 8t minus 2t cube by 3 go minus 2 say 2 that should be is equals to uh, 2 by 3 vf plus 15 to get 2 by 3 vf plus 15 okay yahan pe agar apan 2 dalte hain to this will be 16 minus 2 to the 4 to the 8 we are 16 by 3 ye initial value jayegi minus minus 2 dalte hain to this will be minus 16 aur ye minus ki wajah se plus ho jayega this will be 16 by 3 correct this will be is equals to 2 by 3 into vf plus 15 okay so 16 and 16 is 32 and this is minus 16 by 3 minus 16 by 3 that means minus 32 by 3 that should be is equals to 2 by 3 into vf plus 15 and what are we getting so we will 64 by 3 so 64 by 3 by 3 cancel 64 by 2 is 32 is equals to vf plus 15 and hence which gives us vf is equals to 17 so that means 17 meter per second will be the correct answer to this question so fairly regular one uh, like you know uh, just force equation yeah impulse momentum equation like this is this question can be solved without you know like much difficulty so that's it thank you